Well, it's gonna take a while to get anywhere in silver, because we gave up Dynamic Punch for rest, um... We're currently in the situation where we just can't win, um... And I mean that quite literally, we, we just can't get past, uh, Bruno's Onyx. Um, its defenses are too hard for me to break it, you know, like, level 50-something. Like, I may have to push up extremely high, unless I come up with some other strategy looking at the moveset, where I can maybe go pick something up, but I can't really use Rollout on Hitmontop. Because Hitmontop knows Dig, so naturally it's gonna dig a hole in response to what we're doing. And basically break that move, so I could never get, you know, a really high Rollout attack onto Onyx to try and just smash through the defenses. Unfortunately. Yeah, I know, we could have won with Headbutt. I still need to pick up Return. Uh, worry about it later. But it's definitely something I should grab before we get to the Elite Four. But yeah, Pikachu's like stalled out. Uh, and I don't know if there's going to be anything in its moveset that's going to let it get unstalled. Outside just, you know massively leveling up and then hitting, you know, really, really hard. Ugh. I mean, you work with what you got, man. I'm just kicking myself for, you know, throwing away Dynamic Punch right now. But there's not much I can do about it unless I want to reset and start the run all over again. Oh, well, at least if we get past, uh, Bruno, I think by the time we can do that, the... <laughs> Lance probably won't be as much of a problem anymore. Ice Punch. Probably a bit of a waste, but, you know, with that much level advantage, there's no reason it shouldn't work, right? Well, let's just keep moving. Boom. And we're through. Well, need to go this way. Well. There we go. After all, we want to make sure we get that HM all right. The fact you gotta grab it in here, though, is kind of annoying, because... What happens if you're someone that skips all the item balls? Like, you'd be stuck looking for, uh, this HM for a while, probably. If you didn't have access to, like, game facts or something. It'd be absolutely maddening. Well, let's just, uh, run away. After all, I don't want to fight a Zubat. Come on, push it! Okay, we should be able to put this up here. And let's see... I don't think I can go down any lower, we're gonna have to go from here, right? I'll double check it, but... Oh, I love my swallow. Okay, I want to go down the, the bottom, yeah. And I'm paying for it. <laughs> With another random encounter. I keep forgetting to snag some freaking repels in these runs. It would really help, right? It'd spare me from all these bats. Well, I suppose seeing Zubat does remind me of when I used to be so good, uh... Some of the Zelda games on Nintendo 64, I could snipe bats out of the freaking sky. With my bow and arrow, yeah. I, I got pretty good at it. I doubt I could do it anymore. It's been forever since I've played those games. Plus, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo 64 controllers we have left are shot, so... 
they probably wouldn't function right anyway. And knowing my luck, their uh, frame rate isn't high enough for me to really uh, do anything with them anyway. Because my capture card freaks out, it's not, you know, at least 480. 480p. Ah. What found us this time? Another swine up? I don't want to fight swine up. It might use Endure, which would be annoying. Like, seriously, screw that. And we want to go get that, uh, Never Melt Ice. After all, you know, I might want to power up my Ice Punch further, you know, for Dragonair. The real trick might be Kingdra, but, uh, I don't even think that's going to be that bad. I mean, Teddy Ursa can actually run rest, though. Kingdra might be powerful enough that our little teddy bear is not going to survive that strategy. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I'll take TM44 while I'm here. I mean, we don't strictly need it, but I'll take it with me anyway. Gosh darn it. Just can't clear like the back of my throat. Ice punch it. I mean, this is an easy one to kill. The dragons are much less uh, predictable. I mean, I'm not worried about Dratini, but Dragonair? That might be another story. Okay, we'll go this way. Might as well get these drugs while we're here. Yep, I'll take some iron. Okay. And around we go. Eh, almost out. Darn, I don't have enough room. Well, uh... You can use the iron, maybe. Sweet. We got a defense boost. I, I don't know if it's gonna be that noticeable, though. Like, it just was up one point. Ah, man, that was a longer trip than I thought it would be. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll uh, take on Claire's gym. Or at least the trainer's in it. I mean, I'll throw down with Claire if we, it doesn't take us too long to get through those guys and gals. Until then, see ya.